your health first. And you might be thinking, well, didn't I sign up for a harmonica course? Well, yes, but consider this. If breathing is the basis of all of your harmonica playing and breath is one of the four pillars of health, then it's very important to think about your health in relation to your harmonica playing. By playing harmonica, you're actually going to benefit your health, which is an interesting thing I'm going to talk about in this video as well. But before we get to that, I'm going to talk about why it's important to maintain your health and even improve your health to optimize your harmonica playing. So if you think of your lungs, ultimately what you want to do is take care of them and train them. And both of these things will help with your harmonica playing a great deal. So my very first bit of advice is if you smoke, to simply stop smoking. And you may think that I have no right to tell you this. Well, um, well, first of all, if you don't smoke, it doesn't matter. Um, but if you do, I have to tell you this because it's my job to give you harmonica freedom and help you be able to play whatever you want on the instrument. And part of that involves optimizing your lungs. And the problem with smoking is ultimately that the tar reduces the space in your lungs. So your lungs, uh, when you're a full-grown adult, are one size. They're not muscles, so you can't grow them. You just have a set um, capacity. And, and when you smoke, the tar builds up on your lungs and ultimately makes them into a smaller space. Not to mention all the other negative things that come along with smoking. But ultimately, my recommendation is if you can stop smoking, um, that's great. If not, you can also switch to using a vaporizer, which is simply um, a healthier way of, of still getting the good stuff. But Ultimately, what I would say is if you can stop smoking, that will help you. Um, another thing to consider for your lung health is where you work. If you work in an environment that has airborne toxins, um, a lot of construction workers work in places where there's all sorts of weird dusts flying around, um, make sure you wear a mask. Uh, that will certainly help. Um, if you live in a big city, it's good to get out of the city sometimes and, and just go into nature where there's lots of oxygen. If you work in an office, if you can get plants in your office, that will also help with the oxygen levels. Anything you can do to benefit your breathing will help. Now, for some people, they don't smoke, so it's not really a problem, but they, I mean, a lot of people have issues with deep breathing. And they may not think that they have issues with it, but the thing is, they just don't do it. And if you don't do deep breathing, basically what you're doing is you're not using your lungs to full capacity, right? It would be the equivalent of not going to school. If you don't challenge your brain, it just kind of hangs out and, and it doesn't really grow. Um, same with your muscles and your body in general. So part of what we're going to do in this module is we're going to go through exercises that actually strengthen um, your lungs and not just strengthen in terms of you know being able to move air faster but have more control and more endurance so being able to really control the amount of air that you take in and how fast and how slow uh, because all of the rhythm um, that we're going to play on the harmonica is directly related to your lungs ability to fully stretch and compress um, and to be able to move in between with ease so my other recommendation for your health is to take up some kind of exercise if you don't already. Um, ideally, some combination of cardio and strength training and flexibility or stretching or myofascial release um, will help because you want not only to be strong but also to be limber. Um, so cardio will help strengthen and actually move air in and out of the lungs. Um, strength training will help strengthen the muscles that will actually help move the air in and out of the lungs as well um, at faster speeds. Um, and flexibility and myofascial release training um, or yoga will help release everything and make it more nimble and, and, and allow you to breathe easier because your back won't be so tight and your thoracic spine won't be so tight as well. So all these little things can, can actually help quite a bit with harmonica playing. And um, I used to be a personal trainer, so I've exercised myself very consistently for over a decade um, along with my harmonica playing. And I've just found, uh, especially on those really tricky tunes, you, you need every bit you can get. And by the time you get to the end of that song, um, you feel exhilarated. It's like you just ran a race. So it's, it's a little different from playing some other instruments, which um, every instrument requires endurance. But with harmonica, it's very specific to the lungs. So... Uh, those are my recommendations for your 
health and how that will improve your harmonica playing. Now on the flip side, the harmonica will improve your health. So this is the cool other side of the coin. Um, if you Google harmonica health benefits, you'll find a slew of articles that are all about, and a lot of them are actually written by doctors who have used the harmonica and have done experiments to show that you can get a great deal of health benefits simply from playing. And that's for a few different reasons. Number one, I think it's, uh, I mean, it's obvious because you're actually using your lungs in both breathing directions, exhale and inhale, which is kind of rare. A lot of wind instruments are only exhale. Um, if you think of saxophone or flute or trumpet or trombone or didgeridoo, um, it trains your breathing in one direction. But harmonica, necessarily, because it's an exhale-inhale instrument, it trains in both breathing directions. Um, but also, what I think is cool about it is that because your goal is to play music, right? you're not using your harmonica to improve your health, but because you're playing music, it's almost like you're not focusing so much on the health benefits or the breathing, but you get those benefits anyways. And because you're learning songs, you have that motivation to go ahead and to keep playing and to play harder songs and more complicated pieces, which then also have more of a demand on your lungs, which then increase your health and increase the oxygen in your body and your bloodstream. So this is just an interesting little perk that I wanted to mention at the top of the course because it's something I, I don't think many people are aware of or that they're thinking about when they start playing. Um, but as you go through the modules, I'd like you to consider um, A, starting some kind of health regimen that will increase your health, and B, just simply relishing in the fact that your health will actually improve if you really try and play this instrument. So that's why I wanted to begin the breathing module by talking about health. Now in the next video we're actually going to jump into um, the mechanics of breathing and what muscles in your body are actually used so you can sort of understand the anatomy of what's necessary to build some kind of an exercise regimen or health regimen that will actually help you. Um, but for now uh, just know that uh, you're on the path to better health and I congratulate you for it. So I will see you in the next video and I will teach you a little bit more about how our bodies actually breathe.